Welcome back to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. I'm Rosa. And I'm still Sharon. And we thank each and every one of you all for joining us again for mm-hmm. another week of Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. Mm-hmm. Um, before we get into our topic for today, um, we would like to do our shout outs. Shout outs. Yeah. Um, our first shout out goes to Jewel J. Thank you for being a subscriber to Conversations mm-hmm. with Sharon and Rosa. Um, next, we have Miss ADM23. And thank you for all of your comments. We so appreciate you tuning mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. and, um, you know, just being one of those true uh, subscribers to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. And last but not least, we got Linda L. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for your comments, too. Yeah. And thank all of our subscribers. We love you all. So. And, and speaking of that, you know, let, let us say thank you I don't think covers it all because we're coming up, if you did see one of the posts, uh, we're coming up uh, toward I-1000. That's our big next mark and our goal. So, um I think we're at 9.15 or 9.17 or something. But anyway, we need another 85 and so many beyond that. But thank you for subscribing. Please share the videos with your friend. If you like what you see, uh, send it out and share it. Okay? Because we, we, we really want to hit that 1,000. And, and once we do, Rosa has something very special planned for, um, you know, for our subscribers. But yes. we'll talk more about that later as we become nearer and nearer and nearer. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, without further ado, we will get into today's topic. And we actually mm. touched on this a little before. Um, it's when, been a while, though. Yeah, when we were talking about um, being balanced and, you know, stuff like that. But mm-hmm. So today, our title is, Your Health is Your Wealth. Ooh, I like so, that. What does that mean? <laughs> we will get into that a little bit later. Right, right. because you know, quite frankly, um, let's do it now. It's yeah, uh, yeah. You know, well, what Sharon's me- gonna get into it now. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, <laughs> uh, you know what it means to me, or Rosa, or the next person, or your twin, or your third cousin removed. Maybe different things, different evaluations for it, but just holding on to the concept that your health is your wealth, and. We know, I don't want to make it all about me or us today, but um, there's definitely been a shift in my thinking, and maybe yes. the same for some of you out there, yes. um, because I was really at the point of really looking at how I was living this wonderful life of mine, and um, not just you know just standing and testimony to oh, gee how blessed we are, how blessed I am. Uh, individually uh, it's just so much going on but so I was just sitting there thinking to myself as I do a lot and that is um, you know people always want to speak in terms of their own wealth and whatever does that mean but truly in my mindset it's all about my health mm-hmm. it is because no, no no matter what if you don't have good health or if you're having issues with your health it really changes your the perspectives of everything else in your life yeah. So I'm speaking. Or um, the close calls changes perspectives oh, as well. You oh, know? absolutely. And then uh, on top of all that, regards to how your thinking is around that, here's COVID. And, and in our community and in other people's community, everyone I know, speak to, communicate with, know someone who has survived COVID, didn't survive COVID, in the hospital fighting for their life. Or uh, like Rosa and I, we've been to what seven funerals. Uh, just it's just too much. It's Not just too all much. COVID related, but but, but still, seven funerals yeah, yeah. in the last you know two months really. Yeah, well, yeah, and the last when we look at the last six months, let's go with a broader scope. I mean, it's been very hard. Yeah. The last year and a half has been horrible, but the, this this six months has been whoa whoa. You're just waiting for it to stop. And it's not stopping. Yeah. So with that, um, that brought about the thinking. I'm sure uh, not just to myself, but many others, um, just looking at how easy it is not to be here anymore. Uh, and I speak um, of the fact that you guys know that Rose and I, uh, well, we just started our six year uh, anniversaries in August. But, yes. Uh, you know, but um, since we've been that uh, seven year itch is coming up eventually. <laughs> Remember, she said it. Um, I wish you would be. I wish you would. 
Just kidding. But but seriously, uh, um, so uh, in the last uh, six years, we, um, ooh, uh, we've had three close calls. Uh, when I say we, I mean me, meaning us. And um, without getting ultra personal, but you know the the gallbladder, the this, the that, and some a couple other things that just whoa. And um, it scared me because it scared Rosa. Um, and uh, not that I'm fearless, but it was just that um, I didn't plan for our honeymoon time to be in the hospital. Uh, but there I was. So she's been an absolutely sweetheart about it. She's a champion. She's got nursing skills, too. Whoa. You never know when you need a nurse. So. Y'all hear her, right? Because she's always <laughs> calling me Nurse Ratchet, but all of a sudden I got she, nursing skills. She, she, she's a mean nurse. <laughs> she's mean. <laughs> But uh, she has definitely helped me through some some serious moments. So I say that to say, not that I wasn't there before, but when that universe claps really loudly and you cannot clap back, um, I really was just really thinking about not just mine, but other people's mortality. You know, everyone's going to leave the planet, and I'm not trying to accelerate that. So with that, I uh, started my one-on-one conversation with myself that like, you really really need to be more appreciative of the blessings that you have and that is um that i'm still here absolutely and that uh rose is still with me absolutely. and she still laughs at my jokes <laughs> and when sharon says that she's still here um that brings up just a quick point that i want to make um i did you know i went out last night with uh, some friends of mine and the waitress, because it was like eight or nine of us, um, the waitress said, are you all celebrating something? And one of my friends was like, just being here and being alive because, it, it, you know, it's a fairly young group. But to even think about that, it's like because so much stuff is going on, yes. some of our friends aren't. They you know, and, you yes. know, I lost a friend from high school young. So. You know, I get it. And, yeah, those are the things you have to be thankful for, mm-hmm. you know, just being here at this time, at this time. Because some yes. people just didn't make it. Young, old, and in all in between. Right, the elderly, the yes, young. The, yes, yes, and, and not even getting to the political side of it, the people right. who, you know, it's a conspiracy. No, it's not. But any event, um, <laughs> you know, right. hearing all that and notice last night somebody went out partying and guess who didn't go? Uh, one, because I was really looking at law and order. <laughs> no. She wanted to party, and I, and I and just, just didn't. didn't. I just didn't. And you know what? I'm not going to poo-poo anybody's good time. I just said, you be safe, baby, and um, see you in a little while. Yeah. Matter of fact, I think I was asleep when she came in. But, I mean, I just, I said, don't miss your moments. You feel like dancing? Dance. Yeah. Go dancing. And she had a good old time. I saw the video, and so... Yeah, you had a good old time. So, so back to the thinking um, that I that has come upon me uh, recently, um, just about the, the, just the idea that your your health is your wealth, um, and and I do, I I know that and I accept it, but I am looking at it with a renewed acceptance of it, if you will. So with that came my uh, promise to myself that I'm going to do better. I have to do better. Yeah. Um, I have to lose some weight. Uh, I was doing, I thought we were doing pretty when I say we, because she be feeding me stuff. But, uh, <laughs> and then I be feeding her stuff. But she doesn't have the problem. Because um, she yes, runs and jumps and scoops. And, and, and I don't. So so what I'm saying is, you know, I um, want to be very mindful of the blessing that, I, that I've received. But I need to help me uh, do better. And with that, um, you know, I, I want I joined the um, the YWCA. Uh, I joined Weight Watchers again. Excited about her being a member. Yeah, and and stop talking about it. Like I said, I was doing pretty well, and then when COVID hit, you know, I I really had successfully lost thirty pounds last year. Or, no, actually, a year before last now. And here we are. We at home, and we I start making what. Um, Ooh, peach cobbler from scratch. Eating bonbons. Mm-mm, raisinets and, um, you know, sandwich in the afternoon, followed by chips. You know, d- just the crazy stuff. So with that, and, and so I, you know, I just said, stop. You've got to put the brakes on this because if you don't do it for you, do it for Rosa. 
You know what I mean? Because as she tells me, she said, I want you around as long as you can be around. And I say the same to her because guess what? Young folks are checking out too. You know, so we that's part of us us loving one another and taking care of, well, we loving each another, but also taking care of one another. So so with that, that's excuse the long preamble, but that's where the thinking taught me. And uh, it took me to the place to remember, you know, I'm not saying anything new. We're not professionals. Neither one is a PhD, uh, you know, and we don't play a doctor on television. But some things are just known and accepted, you know, it's accepted, widely accepted, there's four major areas when we talk about a person's wellness. And whether you agree or, or not agree, but just hold on to this, if you will, for the purpose of the video. And that is, um, we t when we talk about um, are you well and what quadrant and what space you're in, you know, usually people are asking you how are you doing and as far as your spirituality is concerned, um, how are you doing physically? I don't think people ask as far as the spiritual they just no, ask how no. you're doing yeah. and however that but, is for you right you speak to that yeah yeah right yeah. right but i'm just saying whether a person um you know is specific or not you may tell them oh do you tell them oh i just lost uh, 14 pounds or you're just saying my heart is broken do you say my heart is broken or do, do you say emotionally i'm fine right. you know what i mean right, you're going right, to speak right. from one of those houses so as i say you know it's usually um uh, your mentality, your spirituality, your physical, your your physical uh, fitness, and emotionally, mm -hmm. and I put in there emotions. I also put socially too, because yeah. it's all about how you connect and react to the outside world. Yeah. So if that is true, and um, you know, I'm doing the self exam. Um, I thought spiritually in the last, especially in the last couple of years, um, I've gotten just about where I feel like the most comfortable at, spiritually speaking. So when people ask you how you're doing and, and not just speaking to one particular area, what do you normally tell them? We, and we say it so fast, I'm good, I'm great, yeah. everything's cool, everything's all right, you know, because we are, if you will, we are groomed to say that. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to be the, uh, oh no, not me, down or Debbie. You know what I mean? Everything, hey, just got a new job, just bought a new house, kids are fine and the dog loves me and hey, we're going on a vacation to Hawaii. You know what I mean? All of that. Well, that's not true for everyone. Yeah. You know, it may be true I for you. It the whole, I call it the whole Facebook persona because on Facebook, it looks like life could probably be great. You know, for a lot you don't of people. normally hear from people if it's not. So when you see stuff, you're like, oh, they in Hawaii? Oh, okay. They, you know, flying over Paris? Um, yeah, yeah. You uh, know, wait, they walk in the pyramids? They, you bungee know? jumping off, you know, you know? I don't know, the cliffs? So you just think like, wow, they really living their lives. Right. Really living their lives. But mm -hmm. it's like, are they really? Because how many people on Facebook, you know, and there are some out there that do put the other things that's going wrong. You know, I see my friends with, you know, putting... Their kids on there, like, my kids got all A's. Well, did you ever see any where their kids got all F's? So, you know, I mean, you, you only put the good, good stuff. stuff. And, and I get that. You know what I'm and saying? And that's wrong you don't because wanna... it is good. It's good to talk about the But in the good reality, stuff. sometimes you got to get down to the nitty gritty. And I'm not saying put it out on social media. Not saying yeah, that at right, all. Right. I'm mm -hmm. just saying when people, when people who you are comfortable with, with talking to ask you how you're doing, really tell them. And I mean, how you really doing? Right. You right. know what I mean? And you, no one's going to tell you that they two months in arrears on their mortgage, they man or they woman done left them. Well, uh, I did have a friend who confided that in me too. So okay. it just depends on. But as a norm, you know, nor normally yeah. you just see happy time. Yeah. You see happy faces, happy times. And like I said, and there you are walking the pyramids, and mm -hmm. which is wonderful. We're not poo-pooing that. But we're just like, when you really want to take that individual check up and be really, really honest with yourself, normally you, you're going to be, you know, like, the question is, uh, how are you doing spiritually? Yeah. Um, uh, and I was looking at my my personal journey. Um, I feel better now than I ever did about where I'm at and connection into this universe and, you know, what, you know, where my spirit is and, and how, you know, God has touched me. Uh, my story, my story to tell, my feelings and all that. Now, for the next person, next 10 people you talk to, you're going to get 10 different responses because it's a personal thing. Uh, but, you know, we just want not to get too heavy this morning, we just really want to talk about, you know, hey, 
the health issues, the health issues that we're not paying attention to because as we said, the name, the title to this video is your health is your wealth. It truly, truly is. And because, um, not being melodramatic, but you know, because I've had three close calls. Um, and I, and then as I say that you come out of the anesthesia, you just know it wasn't my time. Mm -hmm. There's people who have dealt with half of the things I've dealt with and they're no, they're no longer with us for whatever reason. I'm telling you, I'm not being arrogant about my blessings. I'm just saying I want to be able to live my highest and my best life. And I'm not sure all of us are. So starting with me, one of my commitments this year is to get into my best position that I can health-wise. Um, one thing I, I just adore about um, my sweetie is that, you know, she doesn't beat me down about it. You know, and she said, you know, she, you know, gives me pretty good strokes. She really does. Uh, Rosa runs and she, she double dodge and she hikes and all of that. Uh, me, um, not so much. But the thing is, I know I'm not doing everything that I could do. And my first, uh, my first step in when I got into this thinking or the rethinking of it was to be honest with myself. So well, if I'm number one, you can't you really even be honest with other people if you're not honest with yourself. Well, you know, you know, um, you, you, when you feed yourself those lies and that's what sticks. So as soon as somebody asks you, that's what you give them. Right. You know, I'm good. I'm great. Yeah, don't mind that. Yeah. You, know, you know, um, absolutely. Absolutely. So I don't want to be one of those people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you know, everyone, our friends and the people who subscribe and all our friends out there in lesbian land and far beyond, we keep it real. Yeah. So not to drag it out, you know, I do start with spirituality. I also, I look at my physicality. How am I doing physically? Um, I have gained 40 pounds in 30 years. Well, quite frankly, so have a lot of other Americans that don't make it right, but I know that I could do so much better. You know what I mean? I know that it's, you know, as my mother used to say, just move your navel from the table. <laughs> That's the diet, you know, just get up from the table. And it's not just overeating. It's like what we're eating and, you know, love is food and food is love. Mm -hmm. So when you're in love, your baby goes out and she goes in the kitchen and makes a, a pound cake for no reason other than the fact that we had flour. <laughs> so I'm saying, sweetie. Flour and sugar. <laughs> wait a minute. Sweetie, this is good. But Sharon doesn't need any cake. Oh, baby, I made a cake just for you, just the way you like it. You know, I know you like that lemon icing. Yeah, I love the lemon icing, but I don't need a cake. But you love your baby, right? So eat the cake. Eat the cake, eat anime. anime. Eat the eat cake. cake. <laughs> so I eat, eat the cake. cake. Anime. <laughs> Personal joke, you know. So, okay, so, you know, we're talking about spirituality. Uh, your connection, your your soul connection, you know, with the universe. It's a personal thing. No one can talk to you about it or... Uh, hit you on it because it's your relationship with the outer um, uh, physically um, is basically how you um, how you sense the world mm -hmm. you know uh, through your physical physical senses you know your touch of smell uh, your sight hearing all the things you can do automatically without even thinking about it you don't sit there and say hey let me think about breathing you just breathe Right, right, right. You don't think, oh, what am I looking at? You just look you, because you see, you know. So we're talking about the, that physicality of it, and and which is also attached to the other parts, which is you're just human. So how you doing, really? Right. Well, I uh, need to lose. Uh, did I say thirty pounds? Uh, make it forty one. <laughs> yeah, ooh, because of that other cake she made. Um, you know. So looking at that, another part of our uh, wellness checkup, our personal wellness checkup, is emotionally. How are you? How are you thinking? Not just what are you thinking about, how are you thinking? Because I will tell you this, the quality of your thinking will dictate the quality of your life. Yeah. You change your thinking, you change your life. And we're and saying that's a, for the good. said and done now. Um, you know, think, changing Ooh. your thinking for me has been very, very hard. Um, so, and, and why you is know, that? I, I mean, it's just been hard because to change it is almost like to exercise. You know, you got to keep doing it. You got to keep doing it, mm -hmm. but you got to mentally think about. And if it's not the first thing that you think about, it's just hard for me to do. But I try. I try. Well, let me ask you this. Some without, of my thinking. Anyway. Without putting you on blast, um, tell me something that you have been successful with as far as changing your thinking about it. 
is well, it finances? Is you know how you deal with personal relationship? Um, you know, how do you deal with people who betray you? How do you deal with... Well, sometimes with circumstances is going to force you to change your thinking. So... Well, well that said. That has, uh-huh. has happened. You know, different circumstances mm-hmm. has forced me to change my thinking. The way I think about um, relationships is probably the relationships I were in when I come out of it is like, hmm, I'm taking this away from that and I'm leaving that here. So, you know, that... Mm-hmm. forces you to change the way you're, you're thinking um as far as like finances and and you know the way you treat others or things like that um it just depends i mean i have changed a lot and that's comes with growth as well well sure um mm-hmm. you know getting older how you think about money when you were 20 is definitely different from the bills you pay in now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So wait a minute, and your attitude about them bills. Exactly, in attitude, right? Exactly. Well, that's that's a good point because Sharon is excited about paying bills. I've never been excited about paying bills. Just paying somebody and owing something to me is like a whole can, can different I, thing. May I say this to my defense? I am not happy about paying bills. I am aware of the blessing that we have that we're able to pay and our that's bills. The and, and that's the attitude yes. part of it. Because, I mean, I had a buddy years ago, she would just put her bills in the Bible, you know, and she said the Lord would take care of it. And she probably got thrown out of her house. Uh, <laughs> just I'm saying, well, it didn't work for me. <laughs> uh, I pay mine. You know, when it says Capital One, I send the money to Capital One. I don't put it on Mark four and uh hosea but but anyhow uh i'm just saying you know no, i get um, you but i'm that's saying my, that's if, the if, whole thinking you're right. you know i i guess i guess i misspoke she's not excited but she well, but she be paying them early yeah. and that's what i'm just like who does that look, look, but look at what's, the same what's time, wrong with that at the same time i need to get you know better with okay I'm blessed to be able to pay my bills. I don't have to figure out whether I'm paying, you know, half of this and half of that and getting no, around no, this. No, we can pay that, but now we can't eat. Exactly. Uh, so, we, we, we can eat, but we can't go nowhere. Uh, we got a car, but we ain't got gas. Right, Mm-mm. but that's the Mm-mm. whole Mm-mm. part of right. being hard to change, to get, you know, to get there and get your mindset um, different. So, well, you know, it's, it's, it I just think depends on the different It does, areas. but I, I think that's an extreme example, but, but still a good one. Uh, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be anything mega, mega, mega times 10 in yeah, your life. No, it could be the small stuff. You know, you work on that because, you, you know, you say, how do you eat an elephant one hamburger at a time? You know what I mean? You've got to break it down. You know what I mean? So if it starts with little bite-sized pieces, do that. You know? So... So with that, um, you know, staying on track as far as uh, the four quadrants, uh, you know, that we're looking at um, spiritually, um, physically, your uh, emotionally, and, and of course, um, your whole mentality of, about things, all four of them, they work together. Mm-hmm. You may be doing very well physically, you know, like a friend of mine said, well, you know, I still do, you know, 50 sit-ups in the morning. Yeah, but you also got the blues, and she's been this close to a depression for the last two years. Right. I don't know. I mean, and it's not for me. I can't solve everything. I don't know everything, and I don't know how you really live in your life. I'm just telling you what works for me and what I see what works but for I Rosa. But think, I think uh, in reality, um, one affects the other. Oh, gosh, yes. Um, yes. And so when you say, yes, I can do 50 sit-ups and blah, 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 that's great, but um, are you doing that to overcompensate Something like else, some perhaps. of the other ones, because that's where you need to draw the line and say, okay, I, I'm okay physically. Let me look at what I need to do to get me spiritually there or emotionally there mm-hmm. or whatever the it is for you. Mm-hmm. And that's how you kind of get in balance. And that's what we really spoke about in the last segment when we talked a little bit about this. But, you know, Sharon's coming from or we're, we're coming from, you know, being healthy and that makes you wealthy. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So in health and how you look at what healthy is and define that for yourself, that's where you are. You know, I mean and it's not even in a in a monetary sense. It's no, just no. you know look at the people who are, you know, who are very, very, very wealthy and you know, uh, but they're very sick. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we lost what's the guy who created uh, Apple, uh, Joe Jacobs you know, he oh, died, yeah. I think, of liver cancer uh, because he chose to do the holistic way or whatever. But anyway, he died of um, liver cancer. But with all his money, all his fame and intelligence, how much he would have given up just to live one more year? 
mm-hmm. six more months. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, the, the world's going to remember him because he's left his signature upon the world. But on the same token, you know, he left here in a lot of pain and a lot of discomfort. So yeah. so just because you're doing well in one area doesn't mean it's going to be fantastic for, for the others. Um, I knew early on when I, when I got to Rosa, I said, this is a good choice. I knew it was a good choice. I mean, we, for those of us who are just tu- tuning in don't know our story, we won't bore you with it today, but we would just say that um, uh, we met in March and we were married in August of the same year. I never thought it would happen to me, but it did. So uh, we went from zero to 5,000 quickly. One, because I was at a high state already. I knew. At, or as they say in lesbian land, the U-Haul effect. You did, <laughs> the U-Haul effect. I did, did I run a U-Haul? No, but I did move with you because, uh, you, you know, we got kids. So any of it, um, you, you know, it, it worked for us and we just were blessed. Luck ain't got nothing to do with it. it we truly were blessed because as it went this way, it could have very easily gone the other way or um, the fact that I was having some troubles adjusting to a relationship that had children. Young children, young children under the age of 15. Who that was a lot for me because I ain't been there, you mm. know? And so, so, so that and so many other things. And we worked it out. We worked it out. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people were not betting for us. Like, mm, that ain't gonna last. <laughs> I, I give them the numbs next summer. It probably was more of my friends than sharing because they so? already know me. Like, oh. Yeah, Rosa, Rosa going to put this, put this one in the garbage disposal. <laughs> or as her, her good buddy said, uh, you know, could I have a tell her, I said, I'm really feeling Rosa. She's the one. She said, just enjoy the friendship, honey. Just enjoy the friendship. <laughs> <laughs> like, she was letting me know, like, Rosa will fire you in the middle of the week. You know, and I said, I ain't getting fired. Yeah. You know no, what I mean? So, getting fired, boo. Oh. <laughs> Love the boo. So, uh, so with that, um, th- that really helped me, you know, being in a, a whole and um, a, a good, positive relationship, equally uh, receptive. Uh, we are both obligated and concerned with one another's happiness. Yes. Um, and speaking of that, here's a question, you know, because I, I wanted to say this so much earlier. Um, please make sure that you're number one on your own list. We get so burnt out taking care of other people, helping out your mama, uh, being there for your children, being there for your auntie, being there for your brother-in-law who's a knucklehead, but we're going to put up with him anyhow, but he needs $500. You know, oftentimes we give, give, give so many different ways to the other people in our lives, we don't save enough for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So it's like when you're on a plane, when they say drop the oxygen, Put it on you first mm-hmm. because we want you to be okay so you can help out the kids or the other people around you. Right. Does it make sense? Do take care of you first. And Rosa knows as much as I love her and profess my love, and she does too, she knows that she says, Sharon, you're going to take care of yourself. Yes, I, I must. I must. No one's going to love you the way you love you mm-hmm. or should love you. Now, I'm always shocked when people put themselves last on their own list. Yeah. So, I mean, it, I, don't, I don't just mean it figuratively, but I'm just saying when, when I hear the conversations from our friends and, and loved ones, you know, and I'm just like, well, why did you, why are you doing that? It's not working for you. It hasn't been positive for the last three years. Well, you know, I think I just should be there for her. Really? Mm-hmm. And did she read the, right, the same script? Because her script that she read reading from, she gave you the big, uh, excuse me, the fuck it flag was flying. Can I say that? Yeah, well. I think you said it. I think it's. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of let you know that it is not mutual. Okay. <laughs> so, right. I guess we didn't want to get deeper or anything, you know, but we just wanted to tell you about what's really, really going on. And especially because we're right there at the beginning of a new year and so many people. How many of y'all have already broken your uh, new year resolutions? Oh, have you? Okay. I don't even know what it was. <laughs> Just one time? Or okay. Oh, so I'm, I'm there. So okay. if y'all say yes, I'm yeah. in that club. Right. And I think we did talk about that in one of the episodes yeah, yeah. that only usually about 8% of the people who start actually finish and find that positive uh, result. Uh, but just about everyone has one. So um, there is no magic pill. There is nothing that makes you, you can't swallow this and lose 19 pounds in, in your sleep. And if you do, go straight to the hospital. 
because something's <laughs> very wrong. Okay. <laughs> Don't fall for it. Uh, what I need to do is like drop that fork and and also, you know, I'm not blaming Rosa, but Rosa likes sweets. She likes she likes candy. I mean, old school candy. And I mean, if I see it around the house, it's on. You know, the kids are in college in, in New York, right? Right. So it's either I said, who ate that candy? And Rosa looking at me, and I'm looking at her, and the dog don't eat Tootsie Rose. <laughs> just a question. So I'm saying I just like sweets after the meal. Hmm. I don't like the the leave the last meal in my mouth. I don't know why. I just want mm-hmm. something after that. So that's why. And a lot of it is what I know to be good. You know, sometimes they're not even making the candy the same. I had a Chico stick the other day. Who eats Chico <laughs> sticks? Ooh. No, we were we went to a candy store that had all of these old school candies, and so they had a Chico stick. So I was like, oh, I remember this from being little. I mean, it doesn't even taste the same. But anyway, that's not where I'm going. I'm just <laughs> saying I enjoy having sweets, and mm-hmm. that's why I eat a lot. But you like sweets too. I you do. You like you you like to snack. It doesn't necessarily mean sweets. You just like to snack. Oh, I'm a grazer. Yeah, yeah. I can. I Whether can graze it's chips, the- popcorn, what? cake ice cream you just want to snack on something right and 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 i used to make better decisions you know I me mean? <laughs> but in the midst of a wonderful netflix rosa jumps up and says baby you want some brownies <laughs> hell no i don't need no brownie but she's like i'm gonna fix them right now <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have the heart to say, does this body need a brownie? Yeah. Right? But your sweetie's making it for you, so you're like, sure, sweetie. Yeah. Can't wait for them brownies. And I know it's coming from a place of love, and she loves, she likes the brownies, too. But the bottom line is, I can live the rest of my life without eating a brownie. <laughs> okay? I can live the rest of this <laughs> lifetime ever without ever being seen around anything called haagen butter pecan. The best on the market. The richest, the worst, but it's so good. So, any event, I'm saying sometimes she doesn't help me as much as she could, but she always invites me to walk while they're running. You know what I mean? And as when they go hiking, I stay low, they go high. Uh, you know, or I'm sitting there listening to Anita Baker till they come back. You know. <laughs> So what I need to do is get my groove back. I, um, the, uh, one thing I do realize I do need to do is uh, to be with people in my age group. So, um, you know, could they be having some similar aches and pain, right? So uh, work out with the babes that's over 60, you know what I mean? And that's one thing. Yeah. You know, I'm not, not that I'm intimidated by 20-year-olds and 30 and 40 years old, not at all. But I got to do what I got to do, and I, ain't, I can't do it fast. But I can do it. I can do more than what I'm doing right now. So so what we're talking about today is where are you uh, under living your life? And also with the credo of saying that your health is your wealth. Um, only you can take your own temperature. You have to do it yourself. Don't let nobody do it for you. You know where you're hurting. You yes. know where you need help. So a couple of things that, if you will, that will uh, um, help you along the way is realize that you do need to know where you're at yes you do need to know uh and and understand and talk about or at least think about what where you are spiritually not because we say so but i'm saying just because it it is part of who we are as human beings your connection with the universe your inner soul what what can you do more of less of uh how is it that you're getting turned around in this world and you think you have no power over it and the thing is, you really, really do, because uh, not to bore you, but Rose and I can tell you at least 10 good stories of how real that is and how real your spirit is. And as I, I've said, not to get spooky, which, you know, you know, but I prayed Rosa into my life. Mm-hmm. I, I knew I was worthy. And, you know, even though people put a bug in your ear, well, you know, she's a little too young for you. Says who? I mean, I was a little concerned about the numbers, too, but the numbers, are just, they're just numbers. You know, somebody 25 can break your heart. Some Somebody 60 can mend it, right. whatever, you know. So I was I got past myself on that, you know what I mean? I was like, God, if this is the package, is in. Thank you. Right. Thank you very, very much. Oh, she got two kids. Okay. That was a little tough one. Okay. 
But you and know, that's the whole thing. Sometimes what while. we're looking for the package isn't it, you know, the, what's in, in our the mind? Same, right, mm-hmm. packaging which we envisioned. Um, so you know, Sharon wasn't my package either, but I'm just what? glad. <laughs> what? I'm just glad that I was able to, you know, open up and be okay and mm-hmm. look past what I envisioned. Mm-hmm. Because I'm just saying, if this is my blessing, then it's my blessing. Yeah. You know? Because ideally, you know, I would think I said, well, don't you want someone young? I mean, not to, because I can't. It's just something that physically I cannot do. I cannot do. No. Uh, but, you know, my right knee has had an implant. I'm wanting to do the, the left knee. You know, I got back issues, and I went into my spine. You know, so guess who ain't run? I will not be a top of, what's the one you like, Coles make call? Kyle's Mountain. Kyle's, Mo- Kyle's yeah. Mountain. Mm-hmm. I won't be uh, meeting you up there. But I'll be down in the parking lot as soon as you come down, and I'll whisk you away to breakfast. <laughs> okay. But, you know, I mean, I can I do what I can do. But here lately, taking my own temperature, I know I can do more. Uh, however, as I say this in, in all honesty, seven months ago, I couldn't even stand up to do the dishes. You know, I couldn't cook and clean. I, I just couldn't do it physically. I could not do it. That's how much pain I was in. And now I'm, I'm cooking and cleaning again. <laughs> and she loves it. <laughs> Making spaghetti today. <laughs> She loves my potato salad, you know, but just to go come from that, like, hey, baby, I'm not being lazy. I'm not, you know, clocking out on you. I'm just saying I was in that much pain. And uh, she hung in there with me. We got around that corner. So that was my my physical part. The reason why my physical part uh, didn't take me down and under is because spiritually I was okay. Right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And, you know, look, every day is a blessing. But some, some days are a little challenging. So those are things we want to leave you with. So remember, um, um, if you will, just, one, put yourself on the top of your list because most of us, especially as women, uh, we do so much for so many others. Don't you be the last one on your list. Right. Um, forgive yourself for not doing more sooner. Absolutely. How about that? Forgive you know, yourself, period, for everything. Yeah. And making, you gets know. in the way. It just right. gets in the way, you right. know. Um Making your health a priority. A- absolutely. And, you know, no two of us ha- need the same things. Absolutely. But for you to even take um, inventory about where you're at um, emotionally, why why is it why I'm around some people, they just take me from zero to ten. I, and Rosa will, confess, will attest to this. Um, every month I make a list of three to five people whom I need to get out and, and connect with. Em- and some, I do it for them. And sometimes Mm -hmm. I do it for me because one, stay in touch, make sure they know that I care about them. Or maybe last time I heard from them, they needed something more people to pour pour into their uh, cup as opposed to take, you know, to drink out of it. So um, just being a good friend and being there, you know. So um, and the. um, Well, you know, with the mental. Uh, as I said, you know, the quality of your thoughts will dictate the quality of your life. Be careful of what you're taking in and dwelling on. If you're, list- if you're thinking garbage, what do you think the end product is going to be? And when I say garbage, what I mean just just thoughts that don't help you. And if in uh, every just one of us, sometimes, huh? Just negative stuff. Negative, negative stuff, stuff. Yeah. yeah. And it happens to the best of us. Yeah. Just don't let it come in and give it a room. Oh, that's my negative uh, book right there. Well, why are you reading it? The, the, the timekeepers just let me know that we've gone a little long on this subject, but uh, we've gone a little long because it's just that important. Mm-hmm. All right, love you the best. How about that? Make yourself ready when you do find the right person or you are with the right person that you can not only get connected, stay connected, and then make sure that they see the best of you, the best of what you have to give, all right? Because, you know, but everything, up, the down, the east and west, it starts with your health. And we want to make sure when someone asks how wealthy you are, you tell them how healthy you are. Absolutely. Right? And this week, like all the other weeks, we're always, we're wishing you the very best. Of all good things. Stay safe and stay woke. Oh, and stay healthy too. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking Look, about that. I started to say stay healthy, wait, but you know. I'm trying with her. I'm trying. Look, y'all pray for a sister. Y'all already know. <laughs> pray for a sister. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care.